We're unplug each one of them. They are not being used. You know why? Because you do not have a drop laying around if it is not being used. Because then you can just connect to it and you can connect any computer to your network. And and do this now. You know, if you want to see now, do this, do this, do this test now. Every time you go around now, start looking for the defects, like seeing cables of Cat Five outside buildings seeing drops everywhere anywhere you could go anywhere banks house homes any type of businesses and you'll see it oh my god look they have a drop there and it's nothing there and that's nothing. all the person has to do is just sit connect and they're connected but that's what a wired infrastructure enough with the wired uh there's a lot of ways of, of hacking into a wired infrastructure if it is not secure and if it is not well implemented so let's leave it there Let's go now with the wireless. That's one of the dangers. Wireless is great. You know, I don't wanna, I don't wanna say it is not. Every of one of these technology has come out to help us out to enhance areas of our daily lives that are really necessary. It's just a matter of getting a car and learning how to drive it. You don't just hop on a car and let's do whatever and boom, you crash and you kill somebody. You know. You learn how to use it and you manage it right so that it is secure. Wireless, my God. Let me give you an example of wireless. Wireless is a great technology. It was developed so that it, you could connect with a remote, with a computer without no cabling. Uh, they created a lot of different layers of putting passwords to it, uh, which is uh, hackers have figured out ways of hacking them. Uh, wireless is very interesting. Let me give you a sample. You can't do this without examples because you need them. Uh, and I'm not going to use one too complicated. I want to use one simple. So I'm going to use one like, for example, a cafeteria. Pretty simple example. Uh, if I go to a very complex one, like a corporate office or something like that, people might not be relating with it. You know, I want to do something that people could relate to. You know, and. What we're gonna do is this. We're gonna we're gonna bring it down to a cafeteria. How dangerous could an attack in a cafeteria be? Mm, you're gonna say like, "Study your police, the cafeteria." <laughs> what kind of attack? Is the world gonna fall because of that? Well, let's see. Okay, this is your cafeteria. Typical cafeteria. You go to eat your your breakfast in the morning, whatever. He has some customers, and he wants to put a wireless for them. He wants them to be able to have Wi-Fi. Yeah, you know the fun stuff now. People come with their laptops, they sit down. While they sitting down, they could eat coffee, drink coffee, and eat some donuts, and be there eating and whatever. And he wants to, you know, the owner, he says, you know what? I think that would help me out a lot. It will probably increase my sales, so I want to put a Wi-Fi on my network because that will probably bring me more customers and make my, comf my customers more comfortable. He calls his computer guy, the guy that always helps us out with the computer. What can we do? He goes, oh, that's simple. You could do that so simple. We'll just get this router. That you just put it there and it automatically gives signal to everybody. And that's it. Okay, so he goes to the place. He brings that router. He connects it into the network and he connects it and he just puts it there. You know what he just did? Oh my God, what a disaster. What a disaster. He just put a Wi-Fi on your own network. And he probably left the key open so that everybody that is around could get connected. Now, everybody that connects to your network or to your Wi-Fi, it is connected to your core of your network. Remember, our first layer, remember that part? He's already a, he already went through the first layer. Now he's in your network and he just got to figure out what attack does he wants to do. Okay, I want to explain this about the core so you can understand because I have some examples for this that I use when I try to explain customers how they should do things. You know, this is the way you you have it right now. He had one lane, one you know we're talking about highways here. He had one lane where all the cars were going. See, all the cars were going through this lane. Everything was fine. But now he decides that he wants to bring people into the internet. So 
what he did was this. But all the people from out there in that same lane. So everybody is going on the same lane. So it is pretty simple for a hacker to hack there. Why? Because he's already in the lane where all the information is going. See? Probably that's not what I would have suggested. Probably customer would have probably had the budget to do it. But what I would have suggested was, you know what? You want to put a, high, a Wi-Fi. You want to keep your customers happy. But you also want to be secure. And you don't want to be putting at risk your infrastructure. So what we would have done is simple. Let, let's get another separate DSL. That separate DSL. We'll just use it for Wi-Fi, give it to the customers, put it there for free so they can have access. What you're doing now is this. Keep your own lane. You got your own lane over here. You go into the internet and do it all but with your lane, with your DSL. But this DSL is for the customers. This DSL is for, they are going on this lane. So for them to get to this lane, they will have to use hacking techniques from the internet point of view, which is this. Not that it is impossible, it is harder. Remember, the idea here is not making it impossible for nobody, because it isn't. It is no way to make nothing impossible. It's just a way to make it harder. When you make it harder, you make more steps. When you make more steps, it'll probably make people think it twice. When you put an alarm to a car, you don't think that the stealer is not going to steal, the thief is not going to stole the car. He's going to probably steal it. But it's going to be harder because he has to figure out what alarm you have. Uh, when you put a when you put a cop in your house, doesn't mean you're not going to be mugged. But the cop, the 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 the, the, the guy that is going to rob you is going to think it twice. You know, he has a cop. You know, so when you put security, it's not that you're making it impossible. It's just making it a little bit harder. Uh, so that's the way it works. That's what the way I would have suggested. This is what he just did. By putting all those people going through his own cable, now those people could hack into his computer where he probably keeps his low business accounting. Now they could get in there and see how much is he selling, what is he doing, how much money is he making. I don't think that's something you want people to know. Maybe they could see who your providers are, your suppliers. I don't know. I don't know what they would want that for, but they say they do. They could get into your cash register. Get the credit cards of your customers. Get the information of your customers. If you have it stored in a database in your cash register. If it is a POS. You know. All this in a small business. You have put in risk his small business. And that. If it. That's at the user and company level. Because. Now that you're attacking him as a company and his customer. And you just did that by doing a poor decision of how to implement a TSL to create a Wi-Fi. The service was good. The idea was good. It would have probably enhanced its sales. The way to do it was wrong. This was not a smart strategy. And that's simple. That's only covering... A Wi-Fi for a small cafeteria, you know. We could get this very complicated if we go corporate and then if we start talking about different implementations of wireless, unidirectional, bidirectional connections, all this, you know. But what I do want to understand of all this is wireless is dangerous. Do not believe because you have a whip, whip K, whatever of the whip uh, you're using for security, that you're totally secure. It's a zilly applications out there in Google you just gotta sit down and search that would get your whip it will start doing tests on your whip pinging on your whip and getting until it gets your password and they'll get into your network you know wireless pretty easy to hack and how to get those passwords for the whips and all the securities and 132 remember problem is you're going to tell me, well, that is, yeah, but, you know, wireless have a lot of different type of securities. You know, you could take the highest one. Of course, you could get the one to have encryption of all sorts, uh, more than 120-something Ks of, of bits of encryption, and you could get... But remember, as higher you get the security on your wireless, as degrading it gets on the end of performance. So that's another problem. So people tend to leave it as ease as possible to get better performance but then 
you're risking for something else. So, uh, 